Hello guys, today we are going to talk about linear hole magnetic sensor known as Kenny Y024. This is the module itself. So, let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSN, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy. They can be shipped worldwide. So don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. This module has integrated on board one magnetic hole sensor one potentiometer, one microchip, six resistors and two LEDs. The resistor R1 using this module is 10 kilo ohms. The resistor R2 is 100 kilo ohms. The resistor R3 is 150 ohms. The resistor R4 is 1 kilo ohm. The resistor R5 is 1 kilo ohm. And the resistor R6 is 100 kilo ohm. And the main reason for using the resistor is to limit current circulating inside the module. In other words, to prevent current from burning our module. The LED L1 lights up to show if the module is working or not. And the LED L2 lights up only when the sensor has detected the magnetic field. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensor itself. And of course the six resistors and the two LEDs. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. We have in black the flow of the ground. We have in red the flow of the voltage. We have in a light green the flow of the analog signal. And of course we have in green the flow of the digital signal. This sensor it is used to detect the magnetic field. It can react in the presence of the magnetic field. It has a potentiometer to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor and it provides both analog and digital output. The digital output acts as a switch that will turn on or off when the magnet is near. On the other hand, the analog output can measure the polarity and the relative strength of the magnetic field. When a magnetic field is detected by the sensor, the LED L2 will light up. Let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are four. We have the ground pin with G sign. We have the voltage pin with the plus sign. We have the analog pin with A0 sign. And of course we have the digital pin with a D0 sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives two signals. We can connect the pin of the analog signal with any analog port and the pin of the digital signal with any digital port of different microcontroller boards like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. That's it guys for today. If you like the video hit that like button. If you want more videos like this one hit the subscribe button with a bell icon so you'll be notified for every video. We upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription. Don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.